Boston, Boston, Boston. I'm going to talk about Boston a little bit. I'm going to talk about the MVP, Jimmy Butler. Congratulations to the Miami Heat. Congratulations to the Boston Celtics because a lot of people didn't make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm going to talk about Caleb Martin. And also, I want to talk about the Denver Nuggets, a preview. The Denver Nuggets and the Miami Heat and what I think that potentially is going to happen. So let's go back to last night. Last night, I watched the game from start to finish. Right at the beginning of the ball game, Jason Tatum made a play, first play of the game, and turned his ankle, sprained his ankle. At that moment, I looked at him. Then I looked at the body language of the bench. I looked at the body language of the players. I looked at the body language of the coach. I said, uh-oh, it's going to be a very long night. So you have your MVP. Your MVP that's literally probably playing on one foot, one leg for the remainder of the ball game. I just believe that the gas, the soul was taken out of the Boston Celtics right then and there. And as I said in my previous video, I said the most aggressive team is going to win if you're Eric Spolstra. You know, if you're the Boston coach, you have to set your team up for success. You cannot set your team up for failure. But it's always a fallback plan. There's going to be a lot of Tuesday morning quarterbacks or analysts is going to come out. But I'm just going to speak from a coach's standpoint and what I saw. What I saw was a team that's hungry, the Miami Heat. Knowing that they're going on the road, they won the first three games, lost the last three games, but they had one game to play. And the word that I heard was Patrick Riley, or Pat Riley, had told the team to book for Denver. Mindset. Knowing that you have an owner or a president who believes in you. Leadership starts from the top. So when it comes down to the Boston Celtics, it looked like they were apprehensive. It looked like they didn't really want it after Jason Tatum. They weren't really aggressive. And I got my stats right here. I'm not going to look at my stats. I'm just going to come from the heart. When it comes from the heart, you got to have that mentality of a go-getter. I'm going to win this game, win, lose, or draw. They took up way too many three-point shots. Way too many three-point shot is the same. You live by the three, you die by the three. But if the three's not working, you got to go to the two. Come on, coach. You got to go to the two and change the game. It's all about knowing what the next move, knowing what the next step is. So looking at that game, three-point shooting. Aggressiveness. Boston clearly wasn't as aggressive as the Miami Heat. So congratulations to the Miami Heat. Congratulations to Heat Nation, the organization. And congratulations to all their fans. Now let's talk about the MVP. They call him Jimmy Buckets. And he's been weathering a lot of storms. Shout out to that young brother. He's been balling out of control. Out of control. But there's one guy, I believe, that should have been the MVP. And you tell me if I'm right. You tell me if I'm wrong. This is just commentary. And that's Caleb Martin. I've been sleeping on this guy all season. I haven't really watched him basketball, but I've been sleeping on this guy. But I've been paying attention to the playoffs. And I say to myself, you take this, and you take Jimmy Butler away to Miami, he doesn't win. But if you really take Caleb Martin away, he's been, I believe, arguably the most consistent. The most consistent in looking at the numbers. By me watching the game, and I'm going to do a deep dive into the numbers. And in comparison, doing that, I just believe that he should have been the MVP. And I believe that's why I think that this series, Denver versus Miami, is not going to be a sweep. Denver's not going to sweep Miami. They're not. Because you got a player like that. Caleb Martin, who is absolutely hungry in the back of his mind, man, maybe I should have got more recognition. You got someone that's going to even come with more fire. Now, is Denver going to win? I believe they're going to win. Why? Because Iraq is that point guard to, to, to center. 
I wrapped and stacked them. So I said to myself, now, what is it that Miami needs to do in order to make this competitive? They have to go in with grit. They have to go with absolute confidence. They got to go in with the desire that we're going to win. We're going to steal one in Denver. We were, we're battle tested. We went through seven games. We don't have all that rest, but we're going to go momentum because we know that we probably didn't play our absolute best. Knowing that they're going to come in, not saying they're going to win. Game one is going to be tighter than what most people think. Why do I feel that? It's because you got Jimmy Butler, Buckets, you got Bam, and you got a host of others. You got Caleb Martin, you got a host of others, and Tyler Hero is actually coming back. So the three-point shooting is actually going to rise. Now, on the other hand, the Denver Nuggets, probably arguably the best team in basketball from the beginning of the season all the way up to now. You got a Nikola Jokic, who is not from here, I believe because of his story, and I want y'all to listen to me very, very close. I believe what I think he's from Serbia. From Serbia, and Jamal Murray, people are still doubting him. And, 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 and uh, Pope, people are doubting him because he came from the Lakers. So they got a lot of things on their chest. So history was made. You got an eight seed in Miami. Eight seeds don't make it to the NBA championship every year. But then you got a Denver Nuggets that's, man, you Miami, Denver is not getting a lot of respect. So I think it's going to come down to the point guard play. It's going to come down to the shooting guard play. And Yoke is just a beast. So your take, your take, we're at over 700 subscribers and we're pushing to 800. Leave your comments here. Leave your comments so all my ballers out there, all my athletes, all my coaches out there that's watching this video, give me your take. Let me know. And I'm going to leave you with this. And all that you do, leave it on the floor. Leave the world on empty. Leave it. If, if you're the Miami Heat, I believe that they left everything out on the floor and they, they move with momentum. So move with momentum in all that you do. And greatness is going to continue to come. God bless you. God keep you. Stay tuned for game one, Denver versus Miami.